Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Monday, April 2nd, 2012, and I'm Darko. Uh, my website is ggnonline.com and ddarko2012 and 2013 on my YouTube channels. Um, the first article I have up here is Top Visa Data Center's Bank on or banks on security even has a moat. It says prisoners or prisons are easier to enter than Visa's top secret operations center east. It's biggest news and most advanced U.S. data center. It's an eight acre facility and it says it looks uh, like any other industrial park in the sleepy suburb, but it's massed hundreds of cameras and a crack team of former military personnel. It also goes on. And it says that uh, hydraulic bollards beneath the road leading uh, to the place can quickly be raised to stop an intruding car going 50 miles per hour any speed faster and the car can't navigate a hairpin turn, sending it, sending it into a drainage pond that functions as a modern-day moat. So it said it resembles a fortress. And it goes on and it says that once you uh, get clearance from a guard station, get an okay from a roving security guy in a golf cart and surrender a photo and fingerprint inside, the adventure begins. Next article I have up is temporary outage of Visa uh, card network on Sunday. Technical problem affecting the Visa network barred some people around uh, the United States from using their credit card and debit cards for about 45 minutes on Sunday. It says uh, the outage was caused by a recent update Visa has made to its system. And it says... Uh, that the problem on Sunday was unrelated to the security breach potentially affecting Visa and MasterCard customers that was reported Friday by uh, credit processor Global Payments Incorporated. And they say they will not know for weeks the cost of the cyber theft revealed on Friday, executives of the credit card payment processor said, but they stood by their earlier estimate that no more than 1.5 million cardholder account numbers were compromised in the data breach. Next up, I have a scary article, Web Surfers to Pay Online Using Facebook and Twitter. One-click online payment system using Facebook and Twitter um, could boost Internet sales for newspapers. And it says the Internet poses a risk or a problem for newspaper uh, publishers who want to make money from the articles uh, putting on websites. But it says here the new system developed by a startup company in Belgium means that Internet surfers can pay to read a single article or download a piece of music without having to fill out forms or enter the credit card details into the website. So that would basically mean the end of GGN. U.S.-Canada relations face test over trade. Said so all three nations, Mexico, Canada, and uh, United States, basically the North American Union, uh, said all three nations will take new steps to ease regulations with the aim of increasing trade among them and creating more jabs. So it's going to create more jobs, right? Yeah, right. It says one in ten uh, British children can't find the U.K. on a map and 5% think we share a border with the United States. So moving on here, teachers bend rules to boost exam scores. Survey finds test marks are fiddled and pupils bribed. So teachers are bribing pupils with pizza nights and fiddling test results to help their schools secure exam success. A survey has found, on, on, said here, almost 40% admitted the overwhelming pressure to ensure that pupils have uh, achieved good grades could compromise their professionalism. The poll by the Association of Teachers and Lecturers reveals the lengths that schools are prepared to go in order to climb the league tables. So, Moving on here, we have massive wealth destruction is about to hit investors, say Faber. Runaway government debts have triggered uncontrolled money printing that in turn will lead to inflation that will decimate portfolios, according to the latest forecast from Dr. Doom. Mark Faber says uh, investors, particularly those in the well-to-do ca category, could lose about half of their total wealth in the next few years as consequences pile up from global uh, government uh, debt problems. So... And uh, I just covered recently about uh, how the Federal Reserve System had, uh, what was it, they had responsible for buying 61% uh, of uh, Treasury bonds. So Eurozone unemployment hits 15-year high. Unemployment across the countries that use the euro hit a 15-year high. So there you go. Just like in the North American Union, it's going to help bring jobs, right? Half of Ireland refuses to pay property tax, so they used to uh, not pay taxes, and then they uh, wanted to join the euro on that and says here not since 77 have the Irish paid property taxes on their principal homes and says they are not enjoying paying them again so since a hundred euro charge was imposed this year and everyone uh, saw last weekend's deadline loom but a lively protest campaign helped ensure nearly half of Ireland's 1.6 uh, households have failed to pay as Monday they face fines and being taken to court if they continue to refuse 
Next up, we have senior citizens continue to bear the burden of student loans. So pretty crazy, but it says the new research from the Fed, the Federal Reserve uh, Bank, shows that Americans 60 years and older still owe $36 billion in student loans. So before you kind of get your uh, piece of paper and said, hey, you know, I'm ready to go out into society and become a good slave and work for the for work for the globalists and the bankers, right? And you can, good chance, pay off that debt <laughs> by getting a job and paying it off within five years, maybe 10 years. Um, but now it's like you're 60 years old and you didn't even find a job. Or if you did, you're unemployed now. Your pension's gone. And so it's like, oh, I still got to pay this student debt. So a third of British workers are suffering from poor sleep by putting their jobs before health. One in three Brits are putting their jobs before health and not getting a good enough sleep. Research revealed, according to the study, some suffer from such poor sleep that they experience a sense of drunkenness at work. Some employees get less than five hours of sleep a night. And only one in seven feels completely refreshed when they wake up. Now to the pink slime. Pink slime is now found in 70% of ground beef at our grocers. And um, another article that I found besides uh, this company uh, basically shutting down some of these plants is bankruptcy. Bankrupt processor cites pink slime uproar. So ground beef processor AFA Foods filed for bankruptcy pr uh, protection on Monday, citing the impact of the uproar over meat filler dubbed pink slime by critics. It says here it's called finely textured beef. So it's like the little word games that they play with MSG and calling it um, modified cornstarch or all sorts of different uh, names. I think they're calling high fructose corn syrup corn sugar now. So you just, you really have to be wary, you know, and it's these companies that act like they're ethical, but they're not when they do that because they're lying to you. They're lying to their customers. Why don't you just say what it has in there, you know? And Burger King, you know, if Burger King, if they don't put pink slime in there, they should be marketing that to their customers. Hey, we don't put pink slime in our burgers, you know, but they haven't said anything, which makes me think that they use it too. Food activists have campaigned to have it banned, but supporters say the product is safe to eat. So go in there and check it out. Links will be posted. EPA delays hydraulic fracturing rules, talking about fracking, uh, which could possibly be causing a little mini earthquakes like in uh, what, Oklahoma and that. The Environmental Protection Agency has postponed its first rules aimed at reducing air pollution from natural gas wells that are drilled by hydraulic fracturing. And um, we're going to move on here because if you remember this article, PR pros industry uses military tactics, psyops, and fracking disputes. So the oil industry should pull a page out of the military's playbook and copy tactics for countering insurgents. At least that's the advice when delivered to uh, oil and gas company reps at a conference in Houston. So it basically goes in there and advises attendees to adopt military-style tactics for soothing concerns about hydraulic fracturing and other industry uh, practices. So you are an insurgent, possibly a terrorist, if you're protesting those uh, fracking. So Pfizer executives to stand trial for cover-up of drug trial results. So four former executives at Pfizer, the world's largest drug company or eugenics company, says they will face trial for allegedly concealing the unfavorable results of drug trials involving Celebrix and Bextra. So Facebook makes users feel self-conscious. So here, using Facebook can increase the risk of developing eating disorders and lead people to obsess about their weight in ways that could prove dangerous according to a new survey for the center for eating disorders so 75 percent of facebook users are unhappy with their bodies and 51 percent say the social networking websites make them more conscious of their bodies facebook is making it easier for people to spend more time and energy criticizing their own bodies and wishing they look like someone else so and that's good for plastic surgery and that girls lack of confidence about their appearances blightening their futures a generation of adolescent girls will fail to fulfill their professional potential because they are suffering from low self-esteem about their appearance it was claimed yesterday so says the study concludes that the low self-esteem will have a disastrous effect on their career prospects and this comes from the media of course uh, we know that it comes from that and guys too i mean you know, guys almost have it just bad as girls now as far as uh, trying to have this certain look, you know, who you're supposed to be. You're being told how you're supposed to th think and what you're supposed to wear, how you're supposed to act. You know, it's just embedded and instilled in you over and over again. That's the conditioning. So babies treated in the womb for obesity 
overweight mothers to be uh, getting diabetes pill to cut the risk of having a fat child. So NHS trial has been started in an attempt to halt obesity epidemic. So, you know, while there's people that have cancer that are dying because they don't have the treatment, and I'm not saying I, I'm all for chemo and all that stuff, but, you know, I'm just hypothetically, if you think that that helps, there's people that are dying from that, but then there's stuff like this that goes on. But, but yeah, it says babies are being medicated in the womb in an attempt to prevent them from being born obese. So doctors behind the controversial trial say that obesity among pregnant women is reaching an epidemic proportion and they need to act now to protect the health of tomorrow's children. So like they care, again, they're eugenicists. They don't care. They want population reduction. So pregnancy dieting ups obesity in babies. So babies whose mothers go on a diet around the conception time in an early pregnancy may be at a higher risk of obesity and diabetes later in life, says a medical journal. Sibelis of the uh, human and was it health and human services of the United States, youth violence leads to asthma and obesity. So it's not the processed foods. It's not the economic warfare where people can't really afford uh, better food, better quality food, organic and that. Um, and it's not the spraying of, of aerosols. Um, I would imagine since at least 1985, before 95 and 96, uh, breathing all that crap in, uh, you know, increase in allergies and severity of allergies and asthma cases. So overweight people aren't lazy. They're under too much stress and are sleeping too little. So it goes on and it says that uh, it's well documented. Stress causes people to crave high fat, high carb junk foods and pack on belly fat. So go in there and it's a pretty good article. You want to check it out. I got to keep moving for time's sake. One in 88 U.S. kids have autism, says CDC reports. Man, that is crazy. You just think maybe back, what, in the 50s, it's one in a thousand. Now it's one in 88 it says, uh, but it's due to improved screening and treatment is likely responsible, not that there's actually more people with autism, but they do this as well so they can get them medicated on drugs. Vaccine to stop heart attacks could be here in five years. A vaccine delivered in an injection or nasal spray to prevent heart attacks could be available within five years. The 11 most toxic vaccine ingredients and their side effects, you can go there and check them out, but uh, there's a whole list of them. Of them. It says uh, basically bovine cow serum extracted from cow skin, sorbitol, synthetic sweetener, um, a gelatin de uh, derived from collagen inside animal skin and bones, uh, sodium chloride raises blood pressure, egg proteins, vaccines are prepared in eggs. Um, also, thimerosal, a uh, neurotoxic mercury, which causes autism. And let's not forget this. I think it was in Norway. H1N1 vaccine tied to spike in narcolepsy. And it goes on and says, cause of childhood narcolepsy spiked in oh yeah, Finland in 2010. And researchers there are suggesting an adjuvanted vaccine against the H1N1 pandemic flu might have uh, been the trigger. This is from 2009, but it applies uh, population control called key to deal. So just like the you know real plus 20, this is what they're pushing right now. Population and climate change are intertwined, but the population issue has remained a blind spot when countries discuss ways to mitigate climate change and slow down global warming, according to Vice Minister of National Population and Family Planning Commission. That's eugenics, man, of China. Ban Ki-moon calls on nations to stop tuberculosis. He says he's calling on countries to boost their efforts to prevent tuberculosis. And what's happening now? A new South African tuberculosis vaccine trials near completion, March 20th. But it's just coincidence. Global warming, denialism, just foolishness, scientist Peter Raven says. So this turd bag goes on and says the vigorous anti-climate science movement, i.e. people that are skeptical in the United States, has significantly damaged American prestige among European leaders who are struggling to deal with the daunting impacts of global warming. So again, they're spraying and they're warming the planet. So it is man-made climate change, but not how you think. Global warming started over 100 years ago. So Says the whole of the earth heated up in medieval times without human CO2 emissions, says new study. Remember this, a uh, scientist saying climate change skepticism must be treated, says enviro sociologist. Oh yeah, and if you deny autism, you should be treated for that. It's a disease. Are boys turning into girls because of man-made chemicals? They're talking about BPA. What well, goes on, it says follow the money, BPA makers to gross $8 billion thanks to FDA rejecting the ban. Stealth GMOs rapidly consuming global food supply statistics show how GMO crops ingredients have skyrocketed even in the past few years. And people try to protest. The FDA deletes 1 million signatures for GMO labeling campaign. Monsanto's Roundup is causing DNA damage. And the ghost ship off Canada heralds arrival of not just tsunami debris, but what? Fukushima radiation is being...
detected in California, but don't worry, the experts are going to say it's as thyroid cancer uh, cases are on the rise and infant deaths. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank